He promised to marry her in preschool. And everyone laughed. See how he proved them all wrong. A man and woman who were best friends in preschool but spent most of their childhood apart have reunited, and they've tied the knot. Natalie Crow and Austin Tatman, both 24, met when they were just two years old and attended the same preschool in Ocala, Florida. But the pair lost touch when Natalie's parents divorced, and she moved to Connecticut at the age of five. However, 12 years later, in July of 2012, when they were both 17, Natalie tracked down Austin on social media, and the two quickly fell head over heels for each other. Speaking to people, Natalie, an event planner and blogger, said she and Austin shared a close friendship from a very young age. We just automatically became best friends, and our parents realized it, she said. It's strange when you're that age. You don't usually hang out with the opposite sex. But from when we were two until we were five, we were constantly together, she added. She said her parents have kept dozens of photos of her and Austin as children, and have often told them adorable stories from the time they were kids. Natalie said, I have very faint memories, but our parents have told us many stories. Like on Halloween in 1999, Austin held my hand in the car on the way to trick-or-treating. Those are little things that our parents tell us, where they knew, this is insane that they're interacting like this. She explained that in many of the childhood photos, she and Austin are by each other's side, but their close friendship came to an halt when Natalie's parents got divorced when she was five years old. She moved up to Connecticut with her mom, brother, and sister, and didn't have any contact with Austin for the next 12 years. She said that during this time, she remembers asking about Austin a couple of times, but she had no way of getting in touch with him. Things changed in July of 2012, when she was 17 years old. She decided to look through her mother's address book to see if Austin's number was written in it. Despite only remembering that his last name began with a T, she was able to find him and went on to plug his full name into Facebook. She instantly found him there, and the pair began chatting online. They realized that Austin lived just 10 minutes away from Natalie's dad in Florida, where Natalie was due to visit for a few weeks. After arranging dinner plans with their families, they met up in Florida at the end of the month. Natalie said, Ever since that time, we've been together. It was like the second I saw him. It was a friendship that had come back to life instantly. She explained that by the time they had a second date, they both knew that they were in love with each other. We rekindled the friendship on the first day of reuniting and then being alone. It was like, okay, whatever time that may be, I'm going to marry you. Natalie told today that her parents were over the moon, that she and Austin were reconnecting. They were just as excited, if not more excited, than we were. They were both over the moon about us getting together, she said. They tied the knot in April of this year in a romantic ceremony that took place in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. They hung dozens of photographs of themselves when they were children, paying tribute to their adorable long-term friendship and relationship. Friendship and